is the day. Across the country, millions of people are settling down on their sofas to watch the TV event everyone's talking about. Poldark. Meanwhile, in Salford 7, politicians are arriving to have a nice friendly chat on the telly. <laughs> this is the spin room where the world's media will be watching them. This week has bagged a prime location inside. This room cupboard. Here, we'll be chewing over who's won and who's lost. Talking to the party's top political spin doctors. And let me do it. And we'll try to remember everyone's name. Weeks of negotiations have gone into tonight's debate, and a series of complex algorithms have been used to work out the order in which each leader will speak. Hold tight, here we go. So here's how they're lining up on the left is Green leader Natalie Bennett, Lib Dem Nick Clegg, and UKIP's Nigel Farage. That's the first time Nigel's been on the left of anything. Labour leader Ed Miliband centre stage. Then it's Leanne Wood from Plaid Cymru, the SNP's Nicholas Sturgeon, and the man closest to the fire escape, PM David Cameron. First question. How do each of the party leaders believe they'll be able to keep their promises of eliminating the deficit without raising certain taxes or making vast cuts to vital public services? Each leader will now spell out their response to each question in minute detail. Oh, sorry, I read that wrong. They'll spell it out in a minute's detail. Well, actually, I have a question for, for, for David Cameron, because he's just said to, to all of us that he wants to stay the course. But, of course, that's not what the Conservative Party want to do at all. Remarkably, the Conservative Party have said they're not going to ask the richest in society to make a single extra penny of contribution to balancing the books through the tax system. Well, Nick is wrong about our plans, because, of course, we are going to raise... He doesn't agree with Nick. ...include some of the tax avoiders and evaders. But here's the point. We've got to understand why the deficit matters and why we got here. And the problem and the real choice is with Ed Miliband. Here's Ed Miliband. Is he tough enough? Hell yeah. David, you just said that you were tackling tax avoidance. Let's look at the reality on this. You haven't acted on the tax havens. You haven't acted on the hedge funds. Oh, Nigel's getting upset now. No need to act like a geezer down the pub. I mean, what's going on here? Can we get real, please? It's half-time oranges over to this week's spin room for their first reactions. And after the break, immigration. The one thing that I would agree with Nigel Farage on, and I never thought I would ever <laughs> oh, say I'm looking forward to this. <laughs> this could be fun, couldn't it? But you are right when you say that you can't control immigration from within the EU well, as a you. member. You one have honest to, member of the panel. You well have done. To, you, um, I think the views of the Westminster parties on this issue have been driven by the fear of UKIP rather than by rational debate. And I think we need to have a balanced debate. So here that's it for now, the snap polls giving a clear win to nobody. And that young girl sitting beside Johnny who asked the first question must have been thinking this is the worst first date of my... Welcome back to Salford and this is the This Week's Spin Room, known around here as a broom cupboard. The reaction to tonight's debate coming in thick and fast. Does I mean, I presume we all do agree with that, don't we, George? I, think, I thought it was, I I thought it was very bad. I thought Julie actually not, also chaired it. Hats off, Julie. Did chair it brilliantly. Brilliant. 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 Lots of people, as you say, talking about the women in tonight's uh, debate. Uh, principally, uh, this woman, if I can get this to work. No, let me see if I can start it again. It'll be all right on the night. We are here in the heart of Media City, just across from the debate studio, uh, to get some... Uh, let Theresa May go there, past me there. <laughs> and uh, also uh, joined by Caroline Flint. Our competitors are giving us a good run for our money, but only the This Week Spin Room has okay. access to acting legend Brian Cox. From one Brian Cox oh. to another, Welcome to the Brian, board. what are your thoughts? The women are definitely were the stars of the evening. They, they came across as caring, they came across as really understanding something which was fundamental and grassroots. I will always fight, work, vote, do whatever it takes to keep access to university free. I think it's shameful for any politician who has benefited from that free education to take it away from others. What we're doing is actually racing towards the American healthcare system, a system that uses twice the percentage of GDP that we use on healthcare for actual worse outcomes. Uh, Nigel Farage looked as if he really wanted to be at the pub and perhaps it might have been a better idea if he was at the pub. Nick Clegg, you know, like a very good British B actor of the 50s. 
I, of course, famously, infamously, couldn't uh, put into practice uh, my party's policy on tuition fees for reasons which I hope you're familiar with. They were introduced by Labour and actually jacked up by Labour and uh, there was no money left. But we did, did the next best thing, we got the fairest deal possible and thankfully now there are more young people going to university than ever before. Brian, thank you, but I'm the proper one. Here in the This Week Spin Room, we've nabbed 30 seconds, though it feels a lot longer than that, with Joey Essex. My first impression of watching the TV debate was baffled. I didn't really know what was going on. Um, everyone was just sort of arguing and speaking over each other and I don't know, it reminded me of like a bit of a, bit of a playground really. So the final words and the wisest words of the night go to Molly. Molly, your thoughts. Well, that's all. I can't take any more. It's time for a lie down and a glass of the blue stuff. The most sensible comment I've heard on this show in 11 years. <laughs> big thanks to John Coleshaw for supplying the voices and uh, a big thanks to actor and SNP supporter John uh, Brian Cox, who <laughs> joins us now on the sofa. Welcome back, Brian. Good uh -huh. to see you. Hello. What do you think Nicola Sturgeon's uh, strategy was tonight? What was her aim, do you think?